what the Church of Scientology is so afraid of. This is SPTV. Welcome back for SPTV Monday Night Live. Everyone, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> it's the craze. Hey, before we get into all the action of which there's so much to discuss, uh, what do we have to give away this evening? Oh, we have, yes, we have amazing stuff. That's the part what? where you say. <laughs> Sorry. I, I just had a oh, technical flaw. Oh. Yeah. No, oh. no. I had oh, too many browser to windows change. open and all the audio started coming at me a mile a minute. Yeah. I have two SP bracelets, a bobblehead, and we have a merch giveaway link. We got BFG oh. hoodies. Oh, oh boy. nice. I like that one, Mark. It is yep. nice. I was supposed to be wearing it, but I got too excited <laughs> talking to you guys before we started, and I <laughs> forgot well, to I, put I it on. Look, I got my Hail Xenu mug. Nice. nice. Really oh, nice yeah. quality, these things. Yes. Look what really I have. Good. Oh, yeah. I have. We just got a sample. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? That's a mouse pad? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've, we've been working on and. And we have everything almost ready for all of the uh, the merch stores. And the SP shop will be on the same platform as well. So we can all be coordinated. And Oh, have, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Okay, good. So we got the giveaways. We'll do that at 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, and then the end at, at, at 120. Um, so much to talk about, you guys. Where do we want to begin? I, know. Is, I think we should start with the... Uh, well, whatever stuff happened in the court, Aaron, because I, I saw that you had done a video, but I was on my way home, so I didn't get to watch it. Do you mean the one I just did today? The one about they, they sent something to the judge or they sent something to the judge's boss or? Oh, yeah. Scientology sent a nasty letter. They used their fake religious leaders for hire and sent a nasty letter basic to, to Judge Almeida's superior so you know the court oh, the courthouse really has like a supervising judge that that essentially judge almedo is uh attacking and destroying the religious foundations of the entire united states of america by uh fostering and permitting a uh a, such religious bigotry in her courtroom in the danny masterson proceedings and what's hilarious is that in the video that i did just like an hour ago i speculated that this letter was sent from an organization um co-founded by a, a man named bishop L.J. Gilroy, and I speculated there's no way this guy's a real bishop, right? His first name is just Bishop. He changed like maybe he changed his first name to Bishop, and it turns out I was close. His name isn't Bishop, but he is a fake bishop. <laughs> <laughs> he 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 is ordained by a church created by himself. <laughs> And he's an ombudsman. He calls himself a religious ombudsman for this or that. He's an ombudsman of a company he incorporated himself. The guy is a felon. He served nine years in prison. Um, well, and they're, they're doing something good, right? They're finally offering jobs to felons. Scientology has finally <laughs> done something good. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's kind of ironic that the only religion, quote unquote, that they can get to come to their defense is a religion, quote unquote, of one <laughs> who is an who is an ex-felon. <laughs> That's right. Wow. Guys, one of the one of the ministers who signed on, there's like 20 some religious fake religious leaders that signed on to this letter one of them's named skip and one of them's named chip they got skippy and chippy over there <laughs> chip murray and skip larue they just need yep. a gif and they're yep. golden they could have the peanut butter triplets over there <laughs> <laughs> and so what i did because i knew that stephanie uh would dig into the histories of all these people on the signatory section stephanie and hutchinson so Stephanie Hutchinson. And so I did a whole section where I just read the names and the affiliations of everyone in the signatory. In the last hour, I've been inundated with emails from people uh, giving me evidence that these people are all bogus. Wow. <laughs> surprise, surprise, <They're> right? <laughs> uh, uh, signing on as signatories of organizations they haven't been with in seven years. One person was on there twice under their married name and their maiden name. <laughs> oh, on the same gosh. letter? On the yes. same list? Yes, yes, yes. This is not for real. So, the, you know, this is so funny that this happened, Aaron, because Scientology, this is how they get away with this stuff. And this is what they've been doing for decades. But no one has ever fact checked the stuff that they say. And now that, I mean, Stephanie is amazing. She fact checks everything they say. And 
I want to say 95% of the time, there's a, a, a lot of thick uh, stuff to be stepping in when uh, she starts digging into what their, what their claims or even people that they say that they do put that are legitimate that they put on the letter. And you talk to the person, the person said, I didn't sign that letter. I'm, I didn't say that. And so they, cre they accredit people to saying things about them that never said it. They might've went to a meeting or something, but they didn't say they support Scientology. Yeah, hey, yeah. Um, Aaron, somebody said in the comments to say what they said about you and me. Oh, um, Blair made oh. it in there? Well, oh no, Claire made it in the letter that she was um, a low level, no, that she had no qualify, that that she was only allowed to testify because she was a, a former member, and by that rationale, all you have to be is a is an anti semite to testify against the Jews, um, or whatever. That uh, they totally mischaracterized why Claire was allowed to testify as an expert witness. They, they called her a low level member of the organization who was only testifying because she was a former member. Yeah. Well, I guess if I'm a low level member, then so is David Miscavige. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Well, he didn't. He, uh, yeah. He doesn't have a GED, guys. I hate to break it to you. <laughs> and, and not just low level because he's only five feet off the ground. Um, well, come on. 413. Oh. 413. Let's be specific. Oh, so boy. the thing in the letter about me was they accused me and Leah of literally the way the letter read like we chased skip larue out of the courtroom so that we could scream at him for merely having attended the proceedings and then it said i assaulted the journalist that was with skip maru and that she has filed a police report which is the first time ever hearing of this um and so on the one hand it's sort of funny if they're lying but on the other hand it's even better if they're telling the truth like if she actually filed a police report that says I assaulted her. I'll get a copy of the police report, and it is a it is a crime to knowingly file a false police report. So, I'll, if there's really a police report, I'll request the surveillance footage from the hallway of the courtroom, which is uh, the courthouse, which is co constantly under surveillance. Um, and anyway, that would be a whole other. Uh, I mean, I just love when Scientology steps in a big pile of shit like this. You know, <laughs> yep. they, they can't help themselves. Well, yeah, they also know that we need content. So they're always doing stuff that no. makes content. That's yeah. fair. That's so that the paid ads that they put on our on our channels are going to get more views. We'll have some place <laughs> to run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what's in, what would be really interesting, and I know we don't have like powers of discovery or whatever. Because, but how how amazing would it be if someone were to determine that this fake organization created by this fake bishop was actually done at the behest and the funding of Scientology, specifically for purposes like this. Yeah. yeah, unless unless he signed up with a whole bunch of other churches to be the on their committee, <laughs> it's gonna be you better that dude better get busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's unbelievable. Hey, we're already at uh, twenty five hundred people in the chat. Wow, Ooh, we that's going for another good. record breaking week here, folks. Yeah, now we have awesome. to get record by time because. We're going to have 5,000 in 30 minutes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Did you see that thing about the um, that accountant, that Mormon accountant who uh, went to, was it 60 Minutes? Yeah, I watched it on 60 Minutes last night. Yeah. It's crazy. $150 billion. <clears throat> and you know, Dave would always say um, on that, I don't know about everything else, but for the AV systems, he wanted us to go see what the uh, what they had up in Utah at their churches. That's what he wanted in our in Scientology churches. He was always saying how awesome their stuff was, and we got to get get on the bandwagon to find out what they're doing and how they're setting them up. Really? Yeah. How did he know what the Mormons had in their in their churches? I don't know, but when we were doing AV systems, he was like. This is this is the uh, in the C organization, even in Scientology. Um, L. Ron Hubbard wrote a series of uh, bulletins called the art series and art series number eight was to find examples of something that you wanted your art to be like. And so our art series eight was the Mormon AV systems. I, I thought I that suspect. even the, the tithing was based on um, like this. Uh, what is it? The SMI tithing system was based on the Mormons. Yeah, it may be. Yeah. It's the same 10%. Or yeah. yeah. Was. But I, I think, Aaron, probably one of the outside pros probably mentioned that to Miscavige at some point. 
you know, one of the guys who had done, been to the Mormon Tabernacle Choir to record them or something and mm -hmm. gone, oh my God, they have the greatest audiovisual stuff in that place. And then, so in Dave's mind, that then becomes, okay, so we have to do it like that. We have to be better than that. Yeah, <clears throat> that makes sense. Or maybe he went to a meeting with uh, Bishop, whatever his name was. And... <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Council of wannabe religions. <laughs> so what, what do you think? That, what do you think? Um... What happened? I have... Oh, are you there? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah. hear you. You were like, you were talking just and happened? you just stopped. What do you think? Uh, what do you think? You know what? I accidentally pressed play on one of the live streams, and so I thought you guys were talking over me. <laughs> See, that's that's what happened to me earlier when I froze during the the, the giveaways thing. That's exactly that's what happened to me. <laughs> okay, uh, I didn't watch the the. I haven't seen any of the coverage of this uh, the Mormon stuff that you're talking about, but I uh, I just know that one of the like there was 150 billion dollars in like one secret account what, what was the main takeaway from everything that's being revealed right now they ain't spending money on religious things and they're spending it on other things so basically exactly what scientology is doing hate websites private investigators uh writing letters to judges about nonsense like they're spending um they're spending money on stuff that's not really a religious exemption well, the the one of the former accountants, you know, the 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 Latter Day Saints have an investment company that is part of their charitable organizational structure. It's sort of like the, you know, the Reserves Committee in Scientology or something. And one of those guys got basically disaffected, to use the Scientology term, and said, you know, this is wrong what we're doing. We've got all this money that's coming in. We're spending it to bail out an insurance company that's a profit-making insurance company. We're investing it in a, a mall, $150 million in a mall, and we're supposed to be spending money on charitable activities. And so he wrote a, he left and he wrote a 78-page brief to the IRS saying, these guys are in violation of IRS regulations. The IRS didn't do anything, not surprisingly. The SEC then took action because, however, the SEC regulations work. They were somehow in violation of that. Ended up fining them $5 million, you know, like chicken feed. And right. then this guy, when asked by... The 60 Minutes woman said, well, I've given them all an opportunity to do what they should do, and they haven't done anything really, so now I'm going public. So we'll see if 60 Minutes results in the IRS or some other agency doing something, but they had a former person from the chief counsel of the IRS office who got interviewed and he said, well, you know, this is really political. I do you think that they will do anything? No, probably not. Too political. But it but at least it's on the radar and it's not nothing. It is something. Yep. I agree. I agree, Mark. I mean, the more of these things that come out, the more pressure there will be, the more people will be up in arms about this. Someone is gonna decide, well, there's a big, big, big old pile of money out there. Yeah. That someone could get. So, so we'll the see. Mormon church is a million times more influential and powerful <clears throat> and, and bigger and richer than Scientology. So, I, my concern, the argument on this could go both ways. My argument on this could go if the government doesn't do anything about the Mormons, that doesn't necessarily matter because they're probably much more afraid of the Mormons than Scientology. But the argument the other way is, I think, more, more to the truth, which is, a powerful organization like the Mormons would probably be one of the organizations applying pressure to protect Scientology from certain actions because the Mormons would be afraid, well, if Scientology, if they're able to do that to Scientology, then they might be able to do it to us. So if we protect Scientology, we'll be protecting ourselves. Correct. That's, mm. that's correct, Aaron. That's the same yeah. with 
with the big Christian churches. Yeah. They all, they see the Mormons as, you know, a step uh, away from them and then Scientology and everything else, like a long steps beyond that. But they're all the bulwarks against future intrusion into their creepy activities and their financial irregularities, which are legion. Yeah. Yeah. And so that's why, I don't know, it's hard to be very, very optimistic about the government doing something on Scientology. But I think where, where I'm holding out hope is uh, the Mormons at least aren't being accused of widespread systemic, uh, you know, wire fraud, identity theft and financial fraud like, like Elder Scientology. Abuse. Yeah. Yeah. So I, and I've always said when it just comes to the misusing money, that's a kind of a different argument than literally committing credit card fraud. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, absolutely right. And but the the way that Scientology is structured, if they're not selling auditing and they're not selling, uh, you know, counseling and they're not selling their courses and they're not getting loads of money in, <laughs> they always have to come up with a new way to get money. And usually that's shady. So they I mean, I don't know how they're going to not be, uh, you know, trying to hit people up for these <clears throat> giant sums of money. Um, but it's a it's a good uh, chance they're still up to nonsense over there in Scientologyville. Yeah, Mike, what was the thing you mentioned um, off uh, before we started about Simon oh. Pegg and Tom Cruise? There's something going on there. Yeah, there was an article that came out, and I put it on my blog today, saying that Simon Pegg um, fears talking to Tom Cruise about Scientology. And anybody who doesn't know who Simon Pegg is, he's been the co-star, you know way down the list, but the, nevertheless, the sort of recurring co-star in the Mission Impossible movies for years and years and years, and considers that he has a special status as a friend of Tom Cruise. And he was quoted on an, in an interview that he did with the BBC as saying, the one thing I don't talk to Tom about is Scientology, because that would be like too far. That would breach the friendship trust or something i can't even remember what words he used hmm. which is pretty remarkable how far down mr cruz has come from being the guy who was presented the freedom medal of valor for being the greatest disseminator in the history of scientology yeah and nowadays he can't allow anybody to conduct an interview with him that doesn't agree to not ask him about Scientology. Yeah, so much so much so that when his new movies come out, stories get leaked that he has left Scientology, which of course are always false. <laughs> yeah. That's, but that's, that's how far he's on. come. <laughs> oh, I know. Decades. I know. It has. <laughs> yeah. Decades. But but uh, what's so funny is you go back to that video of you ever seen an SP? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, by definition, Tom Cruise is PTS. Yeah. Oh yeah. He can't talk about Scientology. He's afraid to talk about the subject. He's he's PTS to the middle class for sure. Yeah. yeah. And probably just a PTS type A at this point because he's so scared about the subject of Scientology that he can't even utter the word. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually really incredible. Oh, and by the way, did you see what Shakira said? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shakira said, hell no. I ain't. There's no Yay. Tom and Shakira. That is see, absolutely not the case. I knew Shakira would never do that. <laughs> Come on now, people. Those hips don't lie. Those hips don't lie. <laughs> all, all they had to do was get a shot of both of them in the same shot. Yes. And his PR people went to work. Yeah. Yes, I'm telling exactly. you, this is how this shit goes. Yeah. They yep. feed it to TMZ. TMZ then starts going, oh, maybe Tom's found a new love. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, and that's something we should bring up. In case anybody watches TMZ, they are in bed with Scientology. TMZ is. 100%. So mm. when... When Scientology wants a celeb story to go their way, they leak it to TMZ. 
If Scientology wants an ex-Scientologist celeb story to go the wrong way, they leak it to TMZ and they make they they make sure that TMZ dunks on that person. So, I'm speaking from multiple uh, experiences with them. Yep. So, in case anybody's out there, you can uh, unsubscribe to TMZ. And in as case well. anyone's wondering, TMZ might be too much Z new or you know whatever you want to develop that into tmz new (laughs) (laughs) very good claire very good i try i try in the scientology world it actually it's almost like it's funny because you know simon Pegg in whatever interview he was doing in his mind he's probably thinking i'm gonna say something that's gonna help my buddy tom yeah but to a scientologist that is horrible that tom's friends are afraid to talk about scientology 100 and it also It also gives you a tiny little peek into Tom Cruise because if you're with him and you ask him something about that, you ain't going to be with him anymore. That's how that that friendship is over for the rest of the time. You could even argue that this means he has, quote, cowed and ill associates. Yeah. Right. Meaning, yeah, he's definitely very potential trouble source or even suppressive. I, I also made the point on my blog that who is it that Tom Cruise has ever actually gotten into Scientology apart from Nicole and Katie? Yeah, well, he exactly. got in that girl that Andrew Gold in, uh, interviewed. You know, through a dream. Oh, gosh. <laughs> in a yeah, dream. You could That's actually, true. <laughs> you could argue that he's gotten millions out of Scientology because people <laughs> saw him jumping on a couch and they were like, hell no, that's crazy right there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but just think about it. He's been with... Uh, you know, hundreds of other actors, actresses, directors, scriptwriters, screenwriters, all sorts of people all over the world all the time. The yeah. greatest disseminator in Scientology history has never gotten one of them into Scientology. Not one. He, yeah. Didn't he get Will in for five minutes? Will I don't Smith? know if he did that. Well, he, oh. botched, he botched getting Steven Spielberg in really bad. Yeah, <laughs> botched that one. He, I mean, and, well, to be honest, he also might be the greatest creator of SPs because he's got – he was my auditor. Okay, that, that counts. That's it. You're done. You get that one. Um, K- Nicole, Katie, Mimi, um, the kids, or the at least the one kid, the daughter – there's a lot of he's making a he's making as, as peace. He worked with uh, Jason Lee. Jason Lee left Scientology. Oh, that's yep. true. Um, we should make a list of all the people that Penelope went SP. Cruz in. She she got. Oh out. yeah, Penelope forgot about that. They were trying to get her dad. We made a bunch of Castilian lectures in Golden Air Productions, and we packed them up and sent them to uh, Penelope when they were uh, together. And uh, that didn't even work. Even have some guy pretend to be L. Ron Hubbard in Castilian. Didn't do it. Didn't do it for him. <laughs> well, we're up to 3,500. Nice. And we got, what, seven minutes till giveaway time? Nice. Okay. Stay tuned, guys. We're doing our first giveaway in about six and a half more minutes. Yeah. Um, let's not forget to, to define blow up the chat when we um, oh the yeah. giveaway. Okay, so we had an issue on last week's live. Um, <laughs> Not with and, you guys, just with Mark and I. Yeah, we we had a major. We did giveaways on our live, and we had people that were they were automating merch, 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 merch. So you could do like a hundred comments. One person could. Well, I don't think it was a hundred, but but the the <laughs> specifics that I saw was like thirty, and when we factor in that we want, you know, we have. Right now we have 3,600 people in the chat and, you know, so limiting to like four or five times per person would count, it would still blow up the chat without yeah. giving unfair advantage <laughs> so that like one person got 40 raffle tickets into the spin, so to speak. Well, That's I would all. say if, if we find that someone spammed the chat and won that way, then we're, they would have their, their gift rescinded. Well, okay. that, oh. that gets complicated. Yeah. So, so this is why we're talking about this because um, a, a few people might have been put in timeout, which hurt some feelings, <laughs> and so that's why it's you know it's just good to air these things out. Like, hey, let's talk it through, folks. We have timeout. <laughs> yeah. Go, yeah. Well, 
Goldie what? put him in timeout. Ooh. And we got a uh, we got our first performance. Uh, what do you call that when somebody writes a chit on you that like, hey, no, Goldie put me in no, timeout. No, come on now. It was it was all friendly, but <laughs> things that it shouldn't just be is, report. It's yes. just good to air it out. Go Annoyance. Ahead, Annoyance but report. This, when I tell them to blow up the chat, I'm wanting them to go me, me, me. Like once every few seconds should be okay. Well, okay. okay. Because now, everybody see, should be doing it. This is Everyone, what I was we're, worried we're about. We're trying yeah. to get everyone to blow up the chat. Yeah, true. But but here's one piece of information. <laughs> we want you to blow in, up Aaron. the chat, not a ab- just- obliterate yeah. the chat <laughs> <laughs> yeah and factor in that there's people on all different platforms so you know it's easier on some devices and platforms than others to get your name into the the bucket okay. <laughs> that's all that's all okay. that's why we're talking it through it's all good no worries totally <laughs> okay good so shall we uh, jump into the super chats here absolutely yes let's do okay. it okay all right, Wake Down Cat says, sent two Super Chats last week, didn't get through, trying again. Claire, did you get my email regarding Marilyn's latest knitting creation for Bobble Mike? Sent picture. So I didn't get the email, um, but I did see your message on Fourth Wall. And um, so if you could send me the email, Claire at blownforgood.com. I did search and I couldn't find it, so I'll be watching for it. Awesome. Very cool. Oh, this is something I wanted to take up last week um, I'm from Steve Britt's an amusing information <laughs> point regarding nine weeks at light speed. This is in reference to L. Ron Hubbard's Xenu story. Yes. There's nothing within nine light weeks of us. The nearest star system is four light years away. More proof of how delusional LRH was. I need to correct. I need to correct the record on this. It's not that he said it took nine weeks at light speed. The implication is that this is a civilization that had faster than light speed travel. Hmm. That from wherever they were, it took nine weeks to get here, but they were traveling at faster than the speed of light, which Ooh. strengthens which strengthens Mark's argument that if you're going to pick between Team Xenu and Team Dave, you're going to throw down with Xenu because these guys had mastered faster than light speed travel. Yeah. Like yeah, they took seven. Nothing. Yeah, they took seven wormholes to get here. Okay. <laughs> Dave Dave can't even hide from a process server. Okay. These guys took seven wormholes. Don't put your money on Dave. I'm just saying. It's just not a good idea. <laughs> um, Rural SD Lawyer says, commenting on Aaron's previous post, this is probably about bothering, um, uh, going after the judge. I wonder if Scientology is ramping up external pressure because they do not have any inside control, like over the jury or whatever, in the second trial. What do you guys think? I think that's a possibility. I think it's also simply a matter of Miscavige is having little screaming fits. What the fuck is anybody doing about this? What's happening? Why is nobody doing anything? And so they go off and do half-cocked, cockamamie things. They probably found some letter that L. Ron Hubbard wrote to a judge in Melbourne in 1963. And... You decided, see, this is what Ron says we should do. We need to write a letter to the judge's boss. And, you know, that's exactly what I was going to say, Mike. Would they dig up something like that or they find something they wrote to a judge that worked in a case 20 years ago? They'll just do that, even though we're not 20 years ago or 50 years. The other thing is didn't work then either. Yeah. (laughs) Tell me if this is accurate, Mike. When Dave gets into this kind of mood, this is when people pop because yes. he's throwing fits, he's getting violent, and he's pushing people that have been pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed, and you never think that person's going to pop. And then he throws one of his fits, and they're just like, I'm out. This is crazy. And and they know. That, <laughs> it's like people say this guy's having violent fits. And he's having a violent fit that we're saying that he's having violent fits. Right. So it's like, what? How are they? How are they allowed to say this? It's like, dude, you're having a violent fit right now. Yeah. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, Miscavige needs to attend kindergarten in Colorado, where the motto is, "You get what you get, and you don't throw a fit." <laughs> oh, anyway, man. yes. All right. So here's the next one. Help help me help me pronounce this, you guys. Oh, Frequenza? this is oh. Frequencio. No, Red, no, no, he said it's like Freak. Shrek. He's he's been here oh, before. Oh, Freck. Freck Uneco. Yes. Freck Winko. Yes. 
Yeah. Nice Dear to Mike, see you back, Dear Mr. Mike Rinda, I hope this evening finds you in good health. Well, here I am. There you <laughs> go. Sounds like, sounding much better, by the way. What? Sounding much better, by the way. Oh, well. He got some weird. low end. He got rid of some of the low end that was resonating. <laughs> so he's good now. Um, okay, so another one from Shrek. Now, guys, do we think it's Uneko or U Uenko? It's Frank Uenko. Uenko. Frank Uenko. Uenko. Frank Frank Uenko. Uenko. Okay, Frank Uenko. I was hoping you could clear up some questions I have from back in the ARS days. Well, we'd be what happy. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> we'd be glad to. Okay, Darlene has a question for us. Should we write letters to advertisers that sponsor shows that hire Scientology actors? Fair game them. Also, there should be protests in front of Scientology churches. I actually don't think that's a good idea. Me either. What are you? What nope. are your guys' thoughts on that? No. Why is that not a good idea? Yeah. Well, so um, it just tends to shut Scientologists in, in my opinion. It confirms their belief that the world outside is a big, bad, dark place that's antagonistic to them. And that was that was shown to me when, um, like, actually, I got a letter from my mother. I mean, may as well have been from Osa, but she referenced anonymous protests in that as like, look what you've done. <laughs> right. Strengthening their resolve. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I, I don't think that that boycotting advertisers that advertise on shows with Scientologists in it is uh, a ever going to be effective or B is it's just the same shit that they do. So yeah, why lower ourselves to their level? Let's be more effective and do things that are more useful than that. Yeah. That, yeah. that said, yeah. I never will watch a Tom Cruise movie ever again though. Just yeah. Saying. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm, you don't I'm, have to give yeah, them your yeah. money, but, you don't have to write a note to Tide because they put an ad on The Walking Dead and Jenna, yeah. you know, it's like, yeah, it's and not, come on. You're right. And as we've talked about before, in most instances, the money that Scientology pours into advertising, particularly on YouTube now with the many SPTV channels that have sprouted up, backfires on them tremendously. Yeah. Yeah. Also, there's only like four Scientology active actors right now, I think. So. <laughs> yeah, <It's> like, exactly. <laughs> and there's no ads on Hulu. Yeah, they're not selling a lot of things for McDonald's or Procter & Gamble right now. No, no. <laughs> oh, my God, we, we're late for our first giveaway. Oh, oh, oh we hit 4,000, guys. Yeah. Yay. Boom. Half point. Okay. Well, let's rock and roll. Let's get it done. Let's start okay. blowing up the chat. Okay, let's say, what are we giving away? Well, uh, we let them pick, depending on oh, what you yeah. get. We'll so just it's send either it. bracelet, bobblehead, merch. Okay. There you go. All right, guys. Up, now Aaron. it's time to SP blow, up, blow up that chat, y'all. You know what <laughs> See? I'm saying? Get, get in there and absolutely you get what destroy you get. it. Uh, I'm sorry, Goldie. I really tried. <laughs> we tried, Goldie. We tried. Burn the chat to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In five, four... Three, two, one, click. Jennifer's Jennifer, opener. right. Merch, I please. Wonder, yeah, okay, Jennifer. Shoot me an email, Jennifer. You win. Yay. Claire at blownforgood.com. Yes. There we go. All right, hmm. guys. Sweet. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> you want to get the next one? Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay, Denver Stevo says right. greetings to all from the East Basin of Sheep Nose Mountain, Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> Just minutes from Mountain Butte Peak. Aaron, now that you are a penological assaulter who makes threatening <laughs> gestures, will you be heading home early? Hello, Osa. Yeah, they used a word in the letter that I I never looked it up. They said penological. Um, oh. Uh, actually, if someone wants to look that up for me, <laughs> it's probably yeah, somebody who attacks I'll, I'll with it. words. I, I have an MU. I need to look that up. I'll do it. Yeah. No, I'm not going home early. In Make fact, sure you um, do all definitions and the derivation. And the derivation, and I'll uh -huh. use it in sentences as well. In the study of the punishment of crime and of and of prison management, that's what penology is. Oh, interesting. So penal. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, in fact, she's uh, depending on how things go, I might have to stay an, another week. Uh, <clears throat> it, it looks like the, the evidentiary hearing into the leaked evidence file may not occur this week. It might actually occur next oh, wow. week. Oh, wow. Which would be That's well, horrible be... for me. 
<laughs> well, you signed up. You get what you get, and you don't I throw know. a fit. <laughs> it actually does make sense, right? Because if you scheduled this hearing while the jury was deliberating, then every time the jury had a question or anything, you have to put the hearing on hold. And it, so it, it's a little messy. So it does make sense. Um, so, yeah, definitely not leaving early. That's for sure. Um, yeah. So speaking of which, if anybody wants to help with the Aaron travel expenses fund, please feel free to send <laughs> donations go. through PayPal and Venmo. <laughs> it's not cheap living for a month in downtown LA, but, uh, your guys' support has, um, uh, been a really, really big deal. Okay. How do I hide the, the damn banner? Okay. There we go. Um, okay. Let's see. What else do we got here? Well, we got a whole lot. So, so, okay. So this has to do with the, the letter that they sent to the church, uh, to the judge, uh, judge's boss. Uh, the Unitarian Universalist church is a pay for play church. Send X dollars. You can be a minister. I wonder, uh, how, how much it is to become a bishop. <laughs> we yeah. should so do that, Aaron. You and I we can should... both be bishops. Bishops, yes. <laughs> yeah, we can be SP bishops. What are they going to do against an SP bishop? Just like John Oliver created the, the fake church of perpetual yeah. exemption. Yeah, praise be. <laughs> praise be. <laughs> The Praise Church of me. SPTV. <laughs> that would be amazing. Okay, Alexia Thacker wonders, were you able to watch movies or television in the Sea Org? If so, what movies were your favorite? Mark, please put chicken in a basket on your taste test list. Chicken what is in that? A biscuit. Chicken in a biscuit. In a biscuit. Yeah. Oh. Chicken in a biscuit. Oh, you know, they have, a, they have a really good chicken and a biscuit at Chick Fil A for breakfast. We've That's been getting so make a lot of people angry, but Aaron, I'm sorry. the next time you see me, I'm going to be so fat because I'm getting sent <laughs> so many crackers. Oh my goodness! But is chicken and a biscuit a cracker? What, yes. What is oh, that's a cracker. Yes. 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 Chicken oh, flavor. It's a chicken flavored crack it, uh, cracker. Oh. Chicken in a biscuit. Okay. Did not know that. Yeah, it's getting out of control. Even the people at the store, they see me buying crackers for these uh, videos we're doing. And uh, they're like, what's this guy doing with all these crackers? <laughs> That's amazing. Um, SPTV Tattoo Warrior says, please don't be offended, Mike. My withhold is that I listened to your book on 1.5 speed. <laughs> ADH, ADHD girls got to go. Anybody be open the spreadsheet I sent. Any ex-Scientologist I could find with books movies or youtube channels yes, actually i do remember i seeing did this. i did yeah i opened it i got it yeah we're, we're we're getting we're slowly but surely in our off time getting organized here folks yeah to be fair i'm not going to do anything with that spreadsheet so if anyone else is going to do something with That's it please okay. uh yeah please, we're yeah. we're trying to make um my blown for good website a repository another repository where we can put a books list and uh which oh, is great because people are sending so much stuff we can't uh, there's nowhere to put it. I don't have a, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so we're trying to figure that all out. But thank yeah. you guys. We appreciate what you send. Yeah. So for the record, if we hit five, what was what was the record of um, live viewers that we hit last week? Do you guys remember? It was forty seven hundred. Yes, that's okay. right. Okay. Awesome. Wow. We're we're doing pretty good. We are. Yes. So far. People like this. People like Monday Night Live. I, so guys, I got a I got a an email the other day from from this woman in Elizabeth, Colorado, which is about thirty minutes from us, and it was a picture of our littlest SPTV fan. So her five month old baby, she said, gets riveted anytime Mike, you, Aaron, Mark, and I are talking. And she sent me a picture. I'll send it to you. It's the funniest thing. It made my day. I was like, this well. is amazing. <laughs> that is great. Yes. Um, uh, Freck Yunko, Freck Yunko, Jesus, this is like the third 20, 20 yeah. uh, super chat. Yep. Mr. Rinder, your conversations with John Atak are friggin' awesome. How many of these have you done already with John? Oh, maybe a dozen, Aaron, like wow. over a number of years, but I've been doing them pretty routinely. We did a whole series that was sort of my history in the Sea Org, and then just random topics, but I enjoy the conversations with john because he's such a an incredibly thoughtful and intelligent and well-versed person on the subject of scientology and sort of the mind and philosophy in general so we have a great time uh, it, it's so ironic that john has become uh really a good friend and I was one of the, me and Warren McShane were the ones that were 
dispatched to the UK to threaten him into submission <clears throat> back wow. in the day. I That's noticed crazy. this week, John John Atek even um, already did an interview with uh, Catherine Spolino, who came out with a book called Bad Cadet. Yes. And um, <clears throat> boy, there's so much, so much we could talk about regarding uh, the Spolino family and the C organization. And did you uh, does it, do any of you remember Catherine Spolino? No. Uh, she wasn't at, she wasn't at Int, but she was at PAC. No. Okay. I, I started watching both interviews, and I also reached out to Catherine to interview her as well. So, yeah, fascinating story, and absolutely. Yeah. Somebody yeah. also emailed me saying it would be great to do um, a segment defining the different schools and ranches and what oh, they all were. Oh, that's a great idea. We Aaron, should, we could Aaron, totally Aaron, maybe do that. you and I could do that. Sure. I don't know. Just throwing it totally. out there. Yeah. Totally. It's one of those things where, you know, if we do it, it'll be out there. Nobody will see it. Like, like it, like that's not how YouTube works. Like, like we could do it for fun yeah. and then we could always refer people back to it. Um, but I, I know people want like reference material posted in videos, but that's just not how people consume YouTube. Yeah, um, that's true. But I'm still happy to do it because it's still fun to discuss it all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 You know, another thing I found is that on your channel, on your YouTube channel, you can make a playlist and that playlist doesn't have to be for your channel. It can be for all the videos you've been on other people's channels. So like, Mike, you could put your John Sweeney I put a video. whole bunch of them yeah. up last week, actually. Yeah. Cool. Oh, this one's funny. SPTV Tattoo Warrior. My bank suspected fraud in my account because of so many withdrawals to <laughs> SPTV. Wowza, you got me, bank. <laughs> <laughs> my answer to that is, hey, just show them your tattoo and you'll be good to go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my goodness. They're like, <laughs> talk about a cult. The bank is like, um, what are you getting these uh, Target gift cards for, ma'am? She's like, nothing. And it says SPTV. You have a tattoo on your arm that says that. I don't think we should be giving you this money. <laughs> um, okay, Alexia Thacker wants to say, Mike, ominously giggling through every live stream is the reason I keep coming back. <laughs> Who was, was the worst joker and degrader in the SO? Hands down, Hands down Mark, Mark Head. What? <laughs> Me? Yes. No, there was other 100%. people. One hundred percent. There were others. I, I mean, wasn't... Bill, Bill Dendu was a good. He was yes. a good second oh. when he was around. He Bill was Dendu was a, a good. He second. was a legend. He <laughs> was a <laughs> legend. <laughs> no, I'm not worse than think, Dendu. I don't think he had the. I don't think he had the longevity that you had, Mark. Oh. I, I think one of my favorites when Mark was like, "Ooh, it's Thursday. You know what that means, folks." It's must go stew. And they're like, what? It's like, yep, everything in the galley <laughs> must, must go. go. <laughs> I mean, there were there was there was some others that were pretty good. I mean, Dan Kuhn could be pretty good too. Yes. He That's was true. he but was he was really very excellent. dry. Very oh, very, it was, very it was, it was smart. It was smart J and D. It wasn't just a throwaway J. Like also, I have to say, Aaron is uh he's a top top tier as well. <laughs> no one has ever coined an S P J and D term that's one hundred percent Scientology accurate out to D uh what do you call it? Solo uh, out to D assist. Oh, so, yes. Solo to D assist. Solo to D assist? That's that's I mean, Scientologists are saying that, right? Yeah, you know that. Yeah. <laughs> Admittedly, though, I did not make it up. Somebody made it up in the practical section of the Flag Pro TRs course room, and it was a joke on how the solo auditors would fake their FNs is using the solo 2D assist. <laughs> <laughs> well, whoever came up with that qualifies yeah. for this list. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. I, I, used... I just have one more to add. Yes. John Horwich. Oh, oh yes. Yes, yes, absolutely. I used to tell when I only I would only tell this in Florida where it, it got real good laughs. But Aaron, how many Sea Orgs can you fit on a bus? How many? All of All them. Of <laughs> <laughs> you know, when there's 75 Sea Org members and a 42 passenger bus pulls up, 72 Sea Org members are getting on that bus, even if. There's only 42 seats. They're all getting on. In the 80s and the 90s, they would cram them in like Japanese subways. They didn't mess around. 
they crammed them in they crammed them in so tight that i think those bus rides were the inspiration for many a solo 2d assist yeah <laughs> and maybe a good seller of deodorant too some people would be ripe on that 11 30 12 o'clock oh yeah well especially the europeans who do not wear deodorant Oh yeah, no, they, it's oh, not yeah. even a thing. Like you're spending money on deodorant. <laughs> 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 Sorry, EU. It's a fact. When you guys come over here, you do not spend money on uh, any products made by Procter and Gamble, which is when, today's sponsor of this episode. <laughs> when not Vinnie, really. <laughs> when Vinnie Miscavige as WDCFSO was being personally, uh, personally handheld and coached through the pro uh, the pro metering program. Um, and they would hand pick people to come and hold the cans for her who were known to read an FN really well. One of them was a European who just stunk like a bucket full of garlic and onions. And that person mm -hmm. had to be escorted out of the course room to go take a shower and put on some deodorant so that they could continue to work with Biddy. It was amazing. Wow. wow. It was amazing. Wow. Um, all right. Well, that that got off into quite some <laughs> greatest stories. Oh, but but hey, I'll just I'll just do another tangent for you. Speaking of John Horwich, you you reminded me of a funny memory, which is when I was in Religious Technology Center, I was having to handle John Horwich, and one day he said, "I want to leave," and the only response I could say is, "No, you don't." <laughs> I just had no better answer. So it's like, please stop talking. <laughs> you know, John Horwich was married to Diana Hubbard. Right. And they had a kid, uh, Rowan. Rowan. But there are a lot of advices for Golden Era Productions. And uh, some of those advices or some of those writings were turned into um, executive directives, Scientology policy for Golden Era Productions. But there's a lot of advices that talk about John Horwich. And also, um, they're not very, most of them are not very flattering, um, but about how he would hobby horse and he liked different kinds of brands of AV gear and which ones we shouldn't get because Horwich really is just trying to push that on me and stuff like that. But um, just another fun fact about Horwich. Nice. Yeah, it's got to suck if uh, bad things L. Ron Hubbard said about you are like enshrined in policy. Yep. And everyone reads them because Dave wants everybody to know that that person, even though there's a yeah, bunch yeah. where him and Mark Yeager got assigned lower conditions by L. Ron Hubbard for messing up some camera stuff um, when they were in cine, when they were in the cinematography division. Yeah, amazing. All right, Stephanie Stewart says, people watch all the housewife shows. Monday Lives and all SPTV are my housewife shows. Well done. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, Michelle Carpenter says, I keep getting ads on Twitter for the Delphian school. Who are these ads for? They literally say based on the teachings of L. Ron Hubbard. And I can't imagine who's so taken in that they're willing to pay $70,000 a year. Yeah. It's sort of a waste of money advertising to the non Scientology world. Yeah. Yep. But they do every once in a while, get some of those people in because it's a, it's basic, it's a private school. Like it's an academy and it's some it's a boarding school and they're super super anti-drug and they're um in the middle of nowhere in the case of delphi oregon so if you're if, if you have a lot of money and you want your kid to be insulated from the outside world it's a great place to send them and then you just have to worry about the occasional Scientology brainwashing attempt and that, you know, yeah, you're good and, to go. And, you know, <laughs> and, you know, just so long as an, uh, a valid and structural education doesn't really matter to you, then it's great. And yeah. Yeah. Enter right. at your own risk. Yep. All right. Nairu says, got my signed book and Xenu merch, loving everything. Thank you for the fast delivery and personalized. Thank you from Claire. You're the best. Yay. Thank you, Nairu. Appreciate it. Um, Ken's channel, uh, I sent a follow-up AA run. Chip sent the letter to Bob Iger to not air the final Aftermath show. And Charada Walters was on it. Yeah, so two of the names that are on the letter to the, to the supervising judge. Interesting. Um, okay, Natalie's wondering, are there acknowledgments of birthdays in the Sea Org? Depends who you are. Yeah, it if you're it David Miscavige. On, and it also depends on your definition of acknowledgement. <laughs> right, and, and what condition your stats are in. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Like, I, well, 
since I've been writing my book, I remembered. Oh yeah, uh, two, three days before Mark escaped without me, uh, he had radioed me at two o'clock in the morning and said, "Hey." It's your birthday. Do you want to go to Denny's at two o'clock in the morning? <laughs> we yeah, would literally, I, I, and I couldn't go. That yeah. was the sad part of that story. So yeah, yeah. Then I blew up four days later. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, and see ya. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Unless you're an important Sea Org executive, the most likely way your birthday will be acknowledged, if at all is during mealtimes, all Sea Org members have to sit in an assigned ma- at a mess at an assigned table. If and, and usually you're somewhat friends with the people at your table because you eat with them at every meal usually. So maybe someone will get you a cupcake and maybe your table will sing you happy birthday. That's the best shot that you've got. Otherwise, just your, nothing. And just your table. Uh-oh, what happened to the audio just now? That was me. Sorry. Mark I'm out. Buzz. He'll come right back in. Oh, okay. We've, been, we've been having audio BTs. I'm so sorry. Oh, boy. I'm yeah. back. Right. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, all right. Miss D says, AA, Ron, it was great meeting you on Saturday. So, guys, we did, uh, we did, um, so ex Sea Org member, ex uh, Scientologist, Laura Anderson. You guys might know her as Megan. Laura, you guys know who I'm We know her as Laura. Yeah, yeah, She's a rocker. Yes. And Lara. She, put on, Lara. she put on a fucking amazing show with her and Serge and a saxophone guy and a violin guy, just the four of them. Couldn't get the whole band because uh, yeah. it was booked at the last minute. And it was amazing. And so a bunch of ex-SO guys came out, a bunch of ex-Scientologists, st- uh, staff members, former public. And uh, all you had to do was mention SPTV and get in free at the door. Uh, <laughs> Yay. It, it, it was really a blast. It was awesome. That sounds awesome. That does sound awesome. That's a good meetup right there. Yes. Yeah. How did Molly, you guys, Molly. so Scient- just Scientology just didn't know it was going to happen? Well, they knew because I promoted it on Facebook and Twitter oh. and YouTube. <laughs> Remember, um, we tried to do a meet and greet in Clearwater and we couldn't go eat anywhere. Afterwards, we couldn't go eat anywhere. Yeah. 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 They got they wouldn't let us in any of the restaurants in yeah. downtown Clearwater. That sucked ass. Um, okay. Lathander Grauklinger says Scientology is using the same fake assault claims against A.A. Ron as they did against Mike with his ex-wife. Old horses don't learn new tricks, right? Yep. Th- this is a weird one, though, because they didn't even... They haven't gone public with these things. I had to, I actually didn't even realize it was in the letter until I was reading it on my channel. So now, now what would be amazing is, is is if if they actually trotted out Eva Mahoney and Skip Larue to fabricate this this story of assault. I mean, this could get uh, this could get um, uh, anyway. This could get interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Let's see here. What else do we have? Um, my eight year old wants a shout out. Say hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Hello. <laughs> That's awesome. Marilyn Honig. Hi, everyone. So glad to be back in the chat. You're all awesome. Yay. Yay. Thank, you, Marilyn. Marilyn. Thank you, Marilyn. Look look over there. Yeah. My, yeah. my guy's sitting on the sofa back there with Mr. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's one. Um, how much of OT8 is true? As in, do Scientologists literally believe that LRH is the equivalent of the Antichrist? Would say someone like Tom Cruise believe this? Uh, it's only the first version of OT8 that mentioned the Antichrist stuff. The current version of OT8 doesn't say anything about that. Right. And, and there's literally nowhere else in Scientology where L. Ron Hubbard says that. So it's not a th- it's not a thing that people believe. Right. Yeah. Fair to say? Does everyone agree yes. with that? Yeah. yeah. I do. You know, I don't remember where this came up, Claire. Where did this thing come up about um, Mission Earth? That thing oh, about... Oh, so, yeah. So, so listen, I was watching uh, Ona Nora's interview with Andrew Gold, and at the beginning of that, she was talking about Mission Earth, which just triggered so many memories for me because I read all 10 volumes of Mission Earth when I was 14 years old. So the bad guy in Mission Earth is Sultan Greece, and he, his cohort is a teenager who he engages in activities with by the name of Teeny Whopper. But in going through all of this, I was saying to Mark last night, I'm like, so L. Ron Hubbard wrote 10 volumes of Mission Earth between 83 to 85, and they were published in 85 and 86. And yet there are no OT levels. Yes. Yeah. Just think record. about that. He wrote literally hundreds and hundreds of thousands of words 
about all this science fiction, and he couldn't even be bothered to write about OT 9 and 10. And at that, it was around the same time. Is it Sarge? Is that his name? Yep. Sarge yep. Fowl. Sarge Fowl. Was, was saying that he was trying to electrocute the body thetans out of himself at that time. It was around that time, right? Yep. Yeah. So there is no RT nine and, and, and it's, ten. And I, I would say it's gentle to call Mission Earth smut. Oh gentle. wow! Yeah, yeah, it's some pretty hardcore. Like you could not make an R rated movie of Mission Earth and stay true to the uh, script. <laughs> you couldn't even get it aired. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. it'd be on uh, be on the internet for sure. So yeah. did Elron Hubbard write both Mission Earth and Battlefield Earth during his years in seclusion? Um, um, Battlefield. Uh, Yes. Wow. That is an amazing amount of writing. That's what that's, that, I know that's that was the, the thing that yes. made me. She was talking about how Mission Earth was all smutty and all that. And I thought, that's not the takeaway. <laughs> the, okay, yes, Mission Earth is very pornographic full time. But okay, besides that part, he wrote all that science fiction. He could have been writing the rest of Scientology's bridge. But Incredible. instead, he chose to yeah. write fiction, and that and that's where I was like, the dude never stopped. He was writing fiction in the beginning, and in the middle, and in the end. Period. Yeah. It, it definitely <laughs> speaks to his frame of mind in those years. Yes, right. very Absolutely. clearly. Yeah. Wow. He also oh, didn't write anything about the succession. Yeah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. He wrote so much <laughs> nonsense. But he couldn't have been bothered to write any of the stuff that they really needed. <laughs> yep. Mark, is this true? Um, it's uh, Kitone. Oh, Kitone. Oh, Kitone Warrior. So I just finished re-listening to Mark's book. The first restaurant meal he had after blowing a beef dip sandwich. No way. <laughs> I think it might have actually been. You know, and that was the funniest thing about this whole thing, Aaron. When I was watching you live, and you when you said you'd never had a French dip sandwich. I, I literally fell out of my chair. I was like, <laughs> what? How can you have never had a French dip sandwich? Oh, but then again, you grew up in L.A. And it seems to be kind of an L.A. thing. Um, no. Well, no, it's I, no. I mean, I just had one. He, I, just, I literally had one when we went. We took Claire out for Mother's Day. We had a really nice but, dinner with the boys. But Co Co Cole's and, restaurant and, here in downtown L.A. says it's the originator of the French dip sandwich. <laughs> Yeah, and That's so does Philippe. I know, but so does Free <laughs> Philippe's up the street. So does You're Pierre's in me. Paris. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there you go. You're exactly. telling me Coles is lying. Do you <laughs> yeah. know that do you know that France is claiming responsibility for creating the French fry? Uh -huh. You can't <laughs> trust you cannot trust the French. Oh boy. Uh, Here we go. Oh, <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I, don't know um, about that. I did I don't think it was Gosh, it might have. I'd have to look in the book. I don't know. You know, the first time I read my book was when I did the audio book. That was the first time I read my book. <laughs> Who wrote it? Well, I wrote it, but it was edited by Claire and, you know, others to cut it down. And it was, and it was just like, yeah, okay, go out. Nice. Right. All right, so we're getting two more minutes until our next giveaway. John Sestowski says, I was thinking ex-Scientologist YouTubers plus subscribers equals SPTV strong, a force for change. I like it. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Um, Mystic Wolf, merch idea. Bookmarks for everyone who has written one. My OCD would love it. Bookmarks <laughs> for everyone who has written one. Like everyone who's written a book. No, know. I get it. That's yeah. a great idea. It I love it. It is a great idea. Um, Note that down, Claire. Yeah, I'm writing it down. <clears throat> okay, so Aaron... Delarm. Not that any of you would, but would Scientology ever let any of you back into the fold, or are you all basically blacklisted? My thinking is they would love to keep you quiet that way or punish you. Well, so speaking for Mike, Mark, and I, um, since we were all at the headquarters, there's an LRH advice, so it's not public knowledge. Usually when somebody leaves Scientology, there's a policy that says, oh, you just always leave the door open a crack. But for people that were where we worked, he says you bolt it shut and you don't ever let them back in. No, no. So that's... You weld it shut with an atomic <laughs> branding iron. That's exactly what the words are. All righty then. Yep. Wow. Okay. But, 45... but of course, back in the fold is is defined differently by different people. Yeah. I mean, Marty is back in the fold. Well, in he's some off the ways. he's off the board. 
<laughs> he's not in the. Fo- <laughs> he they just it's, took him off the board. Well, no, they true. did more than that. They did more than that. Right, but but I'm just saying we would never be able to go back into the Sea Org, but if we were willing to do their bidding for whatever you know in whatever whatever their demands were, they would you know start using us to attack. Yeah. The other deals. people. Yeah, they would. You know. The, the, I don't think. I, I don't think they, they wouldn't be willing to make some sort of deal. I'm, but I'm also pretty sure they know we're not, we're, be, we're past we're the deal. We're not in the deal business. But <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we are. We're not in we the are. business of making deals with them. So we're kind of, uh, we're uh, out of reach. <laughs> yeah. I think yep. that's what I, I would assume that if I was them. <laughs> yep. And on that note, it's time for a giveaway. Woohoo. There you go. <laughs> also, something Scientology does not like to do. They do not give things away, just so yeah. you know. <laughs> so, is this me now? Yes. yes. And you know you what get to do. Whatever you want. Yeah. So, what? you either say book, bobblehead, or merch. Yeah. Spin oh, oh, the wheel. Wait. Book. Yeah. And, and we also have a bracelet. Book, SB bobblehead, bracelet. bracelet. Yep. Yeah. Or merch. Okay, and special so. thanks to Stacy Y, who has been donating bobbleheads to every new SPTV founder, uh, literally like creator, so, creator. Yes, there you go, creator, SPTV content creator. So she, so thanks to her, I sent a bobblehead she, to Jackson. To she's Dennis. literally, yeah, she's literally yeah. buying them and saying, "Give this to this person. Give this yes. to this person. Wow. Give this. So yes. there's going to be bobbleheads." And bracelets pretty much on every single SPTV channel from people that are donating them for the other channels. Terrific. Yes. Okay, here we go. Okay. Five, four, three. I'm not even looking. Four, <laughs> three, wow. two, one, click. Boom. Right. <laughs> okay, right. now, now this is, we got to figure this one out, Claire. She because just needs- Karen the Philly Girl 9669. Please yeah, just email me. Does your... she want Mike's book or does she want my book? Oh. I guess it'll be our book. It's our book is yeah. the giveaway book because yeah. Mike doesn't have a stock of books. So it's okay. it's my book. You get it. Yeah. That's what you get. So shoot me an email with you your address, you don't throw please. Claire at Bloomberg.com and I'll take care of it. We got 2,800 comments in that little period there. Nice. <laughs> and we're up to 45. Bada we're up to 45 in the cha- 4,500 in the chat right now, folks. Nice. All right. So next next giveaway is in 28 minutes? Yep. yep. Yeah. Nice. So okay. only about half of the current viewers have hit that like button, guys. Help us out. It's free. It's quick. It's easy. Hit that like button. It helps push out notifications to all those people that YouTube forgot to send them to. And yeah. most um, especially, Osa hates it when you hit the like button. Yeah. <laughs> David Miscavige sheds yeah. one tear for every like. Yes. Yes. <laughs> David Miscavige gets an, and also get, David Miscavige gets one extra body thetan for every subscribe uh, button that you click. <laughs> and if you hit the bell notification, he gets five more. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Guys, 4,500 live viewers at one hour in is probably a one hour record. I think Yay. it 100% is. We almost yep. got to the 4,700 at the two hour mark. Yeah. So that's wow. Awesome. Yay. Okay. So here's another one that was referring to the letter that was sent uh, to the to the judge. Never heard of most of those so-called religions. Of course, they're not real. Pin the dramatic music just when it couldn't get crazier. <clears throat> I know. That's what I'm saying. They cannot help. Like if there is a foot and there is a bullet, they got to pull that trigger. <laughs> they literally, they're like magnetized in Scientology. Yeah. They cannot avoid it at all costs. So, Mike, I wonder if this is an Australia joke. Uh, wait, what says? I know Mike doesn't want his audience named, but I'm throwing out the Rinders Fringers. You guys are great. Rinders Fringers. <laughs> fringers? What's a fringer? I think it like might fringers, be fringers. Like fringers the from the fringe of the internet. Yeah. <laughs> the Rinder Fringers. <laughs> Rinders Fringers. Um, I actually like that. The well, Rinder Fringers. You know, you, know what, you know what Clara did was, um, and people have been saying this, they're like, Mike's followers should be Blobbleheads. Blobble yeah, the blobbleheads. Oh my goodness, that's actually really funny. Right? <laughs> the blobbleheads. Yep. Blobbleheads. And there's another guy that said they should be the Mike's Knights. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
my cats ate your socks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Greetings from Chicagoland. The new Chicago org is going in next to the Columbia School of Broadcasting. Is there something strategic about buying uh, that particular spot like that? Nope. Old building, cheap, Yeah. big, big. empty. Yep. Empty. And they can do whatever they want with it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rachel Harmon, can't wait for Claire's Where's Shelly series. It's dropping hey. tomorrow morning. Tomorrow. Woo-hoo. Is it really? Yep, yes. tomorrow so, morning. So the first <clears throat> interview to establish the whole series is me interviewing Mark about our mutual experiences. And then and then from there With forward, Shelly, specific to Shelly. Specific to Shelly. And then from there forward, I'm... I, I'm interviewing people who knew her at all different times, including Mike, including Janice Gillum Grady, including the the beautiful and amazing Ms. Leah Remini, um, and on and on and on. It's gonna be it's gonna be a deep dive into who is Shelley, and most importantly, keep the question current as to where is Shelley. <clears throat> nice, wonderful. So, hey, what time what time is that gonna go live? Um, tomorrow morning. I think it's at 8 a.m. Central Time. Just uh, I mean, I'll, t- I'll tell you why I'm asking. Um, I'm pre-recording and scheduling for a live, a, a bombshell Danny Masterson video that's going to go live at like 9 a.m. California time. I don't want to step on your guys' toes. Oh, oh. okay. Um, but you guys aren't doing a live. You're just uh, 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 ju- like the video is just publishing. It's not a live. Yeah, that's it's right. just a premiere of oh, the series. Oh it, oh, it is a live premiere. Yeah. No, it's not live. Well, it's, it's pre-recorded. A, it's a premiere. If it's a live premiere, it yes. is a technically it's, a, it's live. Yeah, it's oh. a premiere. Oh. Okay, fine. All right, okay. all right. We'll we'll chat afterwards. Um, yep. Okay. Okay. Truth or spoof? Thank you, Truth or spoof. Uh, Donna Dwyer, what is PTS? Expert Potential take it away, expert. Yeah. <laughs> Potential trouble source. It means that you are connected to someone who is a suppressive person, and therefore you are likely to be to get ill to be cowed, to be doing poorly in life, or to be doing great and then very suddenly crash, otherwise known as roller coaster in Scientology. Yeah. Um, Jennifer Johnston, Simon Pegg and the royal family need to pump the brakes with Tom Cruise. (laughs) Yes. Did you guys see the footage of who's the prince? Now it's the prince. Prince, who's the prince? Harry. Harry. He's he's the spare. William William is the William. Yeah, he's the spare. William. <clears throat> William and, and, Kate. and Kate. Did you see the footage of William boxing Tom Cruise out of a conversation? No. It was incredible. He, <laughs> wow. Like Tom Cruise was trying to get in. He was like, no, 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 no. William literally shifted his feet and his body to block Tom Cruise and finish his conversation. It was incredible. <laughs> wow. I'm going to look that up just for satisfaction yeah. purposes. <laughs> yeah. I, I might turn it into a short. Um, nice. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Money. That sounds like a sure thing to me. (laughs) Has Aaron told Leah that she got accused of assaulting someone? So actually, (laughs) once I finished that live video, I did call Leah. And I'm like, you're not going to believe this shit. Uh, First of all, she assaulted him too? Uh, the la- the letter didn't use the letter accused um, me and Leah of screaming at this minister and then accused me of assaulting the woman who was there with the minister. It didn't accuse Leah of assault. And by the way, okay. I assume that by assault, they mean verbally assault. But anyway, it was weird. Anyway, I called Leah. I'm like, you're not going to believe what this letter said. I think this stuff is hilarious. It actually gets Leah really mad. <laughs> so she, yep. it pisses her off that Scientology gets away with this shit. And I'm like, they can get away with it all day long because we're going to make fools of them on YouTube. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I did tell her. But um, anyway. It didn't so go that, the way you thought it was going to go. <laughs> well, you know, I think it's funny. It makes her angry. And I know. I, she gets. I, I wouldn't I, have called her to make her angry. I know. She'll, <laughs> she'll go on a rant if you uh, tell her the wrong thing about the wrong person, especially if she knows them. <laughs> yeah. um, okay. So we got rid of that one. Okay. Emily Case. Does Scientology still get new members? Would they ever get desperate enough that they would take someone with a history of seeing a therapist? I actually have a thought about this. What do you guys think? I am well, sure go. that they have. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure, sure they that to. they have. Just They're not like supposed they to. Recruited people with LSD into the Sea Org. Yeah. Oh, it wasn't really, you didn't really get treated. It was a community um, something. 
uh, we've got an, we've got a way around this. If you got money or a life to hand over, you can basically be assured that you will find someone in Scientology who will bend the rules in order to get their stat up. 100%. So I just realized the story that I was about to tell might have been a story I heard from Claire. So Claire, weren't, did you tell me you were on um, assigned by Shelley to do a research project looking for something L. Ron Hubbard ever said that would justify allowing Jim Carrey to do the purification rundown, even though he'd had a huge history of being on psychiatric medication? Yep, 100%. And her approach was, if if someone's on psych psychiatric drugs, then find something where Hubbard says, use the purification rundown as a vehicle to get them off the psychiatric drugs, because um, it was it was a deal breaker. So yeah, I, I searched, you know, the source information retrieval libraries for thousands and thousands of documents searching for something that would make it okay. I did not find anything conclusive, but I did find some things that were worthy of my research packet that I submitted to Shelley. And to the best of your knowledge, was that ever approved? No. Well, I don't think he ever agreed to it. Is but they, the... but, but they might have actually made an exception. They were going to let him. Yep. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Yep. And as we know, Jim Carrey was going out with a Scientologist who was actively online, Catherine White. Yep. Yeah. Do you know if this was if that's why this was being done because he was dating a Scientologist? I don't. I don't know that they, they don't give. There's not a whole lot of free information flow, mm. <laughs> even at the level we were at. <laughs> yeah. Not a whole lot it's of all explanations. Siloed. It's just like do this research project. <laughs> yes, sir. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, D. S. Nikon or D. S. Nikon. We'll never know. Enjoy all your channels and live chats. Thank you very much. It's um, D. S. N. Y. Ken. How do you know? Oh, oh yeah, of course. That makes sense. But what does D. S. N. Y. mean? <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, okay, good. Right, you make a strong <laughs> argument there, Mark. Um, I, I can't wait for the super chat where DSNY Ken says, no, it's just Nike. <laughs> Indisputable trouble source. Ooh, I like that. Um, Aaron and Mike, thoughts on Kelly Cracker's intro? I thought it was great. Amazing. Yeah. She is oh a God, very, awesome. very talented person. Yeah. Old Kelly Copter so has funny. really got her act together. Yeah. If I'm ever feeling down during the day, I just watch that cracker intro. I know. <laughs> All is good. I, I <laughs> hope oh, watch it. I hope Stephanie is enjoying it. Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought uh, that that I thought they were actually referring to the awesome other um intro yes. she edited up for Mark. That's what she was talking yeah. about. Yeah. Claire's just saying um Kelly um, also made the cracker liquor intro as well. There we go. So, yeah. which is hilarious, and she did that um, on her own. I didn't tell. I didn't tell her to do that. She just well, you just it asked for it you last well, it Monday. Live I did ask, but I didn't think she if would stop doing what I was having her do and then do that instead. With, you know, crack a lick, a crack a. <laughs> oh, it was so Incredible. good. Well, um, it did for a second just flash past 4,700. It, it dipped down a few just now, but 4,700 up. Oh, okay, it's going backwards. Yeah. We'll keep going. Um, yeah. <laughs> in Toronto. Stop talking, Aaron. It's going Never backwards when you're talking. Uh, <laughs> do I have this right? Scientology provided Mark room and board while he did on-the-job training to learn how to make high-quality audio and video productions. Big mistake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're like new standing order. Uh, nobody may be. <laughs> it's a new standing order preventing any Seerg members from learning how to do high quality audio and video work. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so there it is, guys. We just Jesus, it keeps going back and forth on the. Oh, I saw. Mark. I saw it too. It was over forty seven hundred. Woohoo! All right. Well, Thanks just like the Jehovah's Witness, just like the Jehovah's Witnesses, if two people witnessed it, then it occurred. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and if only, and if if there was only the victim there, it never happened. Yes. Oh my God! And, ju and just like the the Mormons, we don't give back. So yeah. once you've joined, you can't leave. That's so now right. we're up to forty seven oh seven. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yay! Boom. Okay. Uh, next giveaway in sixteen minutes. Uh, yeah. Cindy nice. Whiskey wants to know how do we get in on the giveaways? Love all the SPTV shows and your mission, Debbie Seaman Whiskey Seamanuski. 
Uh, this cinnamon is uh, whiskey. Yeah. See why they call me cinnamon whiskey. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Oh. There you go. Whiskey. That's good. Cinnamon so whiskey. Simeonuski. That's it. Simeonuski. Yeah. There you go. Cinnamon whiskey. I like, I like cinnamon whiskey. Cinnamon whiskey Absolutely. is good. Um. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. The answer to the question. Oh, but how do you get in on the giveaway? You just, <laughs> yeah. you just, when we announce it, which will My. be in sixteen minutes. We're, we're all chatting about her name, and then Aaron's on to the next question. It's like, how do you get in on the giveaway, guys? We went by a misunderstood word. So sorry. I'm assuming we she asked blank. the question before we actually did two of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not necessarily going in chronological order. Yes, oh, but, if, but yeah. But if you... So in 15 minutes, just put in the chat whether you want book, bra uh, Mark's book, SP bracelet, bobblehead, or merch link. And if you get, uh, if you say merch, then you just go to the merch store and send us a link <laughs> to the item you want. That's how it works. There you go. But you have to be randomly selected. Yeah. Okay. So suppressive Sherry loves declared Dave. First super chat, um, which is crazy because we've seen suppressed cherry loves declared Dave in the chat a lot previously. So, okay. Um, I found a listing from KSW Library selling the entire Hubbard collection. Are you familiar with KSW? I assume that means are you familiar with KSW Library? Is it part of Scientology? No. I don't know what that is. It's like a but if they're selling list. something, it's not. No, no. Mm. It's like Craigslist or like <clears throat> eBay, but just for Scientology stuff. Mm. Hmm. Because I think they they were they're trying to. I don't know if how big of a deal it is now, but for a while, ASI, which is authored service, is authors author authors services. services Inc. Yeah, um, they are the ones that get the uh, royalties from. Is it the royalties, Mike? Yep. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The royalties. <clears throat> anyway, to get the royal for L. Ron Hubbard. Um, products that have been produced and are being sold <clears throat> and they were buying any Scientology materials that were being put on eBay and I don't know when they stopped but they did stop and I think they might um, and if you're a Scientologist and you know about this is it illegal I know for a while um, they were saying it was sort of illegal for them to sell meters and stuff like that on on eBay Scientologist within Scientology <laughs> So if that's a thing, let us know. But um, I suspect somebody, a Scientologist, made this buy and sell trade site to kind of get around the eBay thing. Yeah. Okay, Fidoville says, I saw Prince William block Tom Cruise out also. Almost as many giggles as SPTV Monday's Live. Nice. Somebody nice. in the chat, I start it, but I'm just going to say it. They said that the best part of it is that Prince William was blocking TC out of a conversation they were having with some of the other stars for Mission Impossible. <laughs> Miles Teller, yeah. No. Oh, Top Gun, from Top, Top Gun. Gun. Top Gun. Okay, okay. <gasps> That's epic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I Sucks love that. Suck. That's. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Cruz Mary, um, can the IRS confiscate Scientology properties if the tax exempt status is taken away? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> there you go. If, if they're fulfilling a, a, an assessment that they have gotten validly in, you know, enforced, they can take property and assets and whatever in order to satisfy the assessment. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> Lara FM. Thank you to all the SPs wow. who showed up to the Lara Yay. FM Megan Anderson show Saturday. Yay. Had a blast. Here's a small donation for all the Jameson shots. <laughs> nice. Good to see you, Laura. Hi, Laura. Yes. Hey, Laura. It That's so awesome. wild. It was absolutely awesome. Oh, and, and the show, she talked about Scientology. Like, you know, when, you, when you're when you talking to the, the audience, like, thank, yeah. you, thanks to all my SP friends who are here tonight. Nice. <laughs> um, you know, it was fantastic. That's awesome. That's amazing. I, I just love that in this community, we are all like, we embrace, we are SPs all the way. Like all the messages we've been receiving, they're like, I'm, I'm a never end, but I'm an SP and I'm proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Lathanda Grauklinger. I already have the tab for Claire's stream tomorrow open and notifications <laughs> on. Am I an SP TV addict? Is there a group for that? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. 
That is amazing. Um, totally unnecessary, by the way, to keep that tab open. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just have to say it. Well, no, because um, then it'll just come on. When it's on, it'll just start playing. That's true. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm trying to jump around so it's not. Um, I'm trying to jump around so that the only the super chat, the only super chats that get responded to aren't the ones that were made in like the first 15 minutes of the stream. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Did you I see understand. that? Did you see that Streamyard has a new feature where they're automatically starred? Is that what's been happening? Yes. Yes, I said I it. Yes. One of you helpful little elves were in the chat doing it <laughs> no. for me. I know. I saw you comment on it twice, and I was like. Note to self, I have to let Aaron know that this is a new feature because he's like, is that you or Mark back there, yeah. you sneaky elves stirring the comments? Wow. I'm like, no, it's, it's a new feature. <laughs> wow, that's brilliant. Yes. That's actually brilliant. Yeah. Um, okay, Destiny Salazar says, Mark, I rewatched my Scientology movie last night, and the story of Marty decking you from both you and his perspectives was enlightening. Was shooting that documentary what you expected? Um, no, it really wasn't. Um, Lu Louis Thoreau is um, very unconventional the way he does things. But um, I do remember that part about um, because we uh, Louis never thought uh, never shot with Marty and myself in the same place ever once the whole entire movie. He kept us totally separate. And even though he'd be shooting with Marty on Wednesday and then I'd be shooting with him on Thursday and then he'd shoot with Marty again on Friday and we were both in Los Angeles for the shooting, um, we never um, we never were there at the same time. So he built up this. He kind of got me to tell me a, a, him a bunch of Marty stories. And then obviously um, he sprung one of those on Marty. And um, it was very interesting how Marty responded. So anyway, wow. it's cool. Very cool. Yeah. To the 4,700 people currently watching, we're doing our next giveaway in eight and a half minutes. So stay tuned for that. Yeah. Yay. Okay. Uh, uh, Freck Uenko says, to Goldie, <laughs> the best moderator on YouTube. Yes. Freck's about $80 deep, at least in Super Chats. Yeah. I, euros. <laughs> 80 yeah. euros, dude. 80 euros. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yes. It's euros even. My goodness. Yes. Thank you, Freck, for being here. We appreciate it. Yeah, we appreciate you. it. Oh, here's a good one. I, uh, Lisa GF, if if the Lori Vallow trial could use the teachings of the LDS, what's the difference with using Scientology teachings in the Masterson trial? Solid. It's there just Scientology moaning and whining about it. Yeah, <laughs> so because now, they have been used. Yeah. So now we got to find out if fake Bishop Gilroy wrote an angry letter to the judge in the Lori Vallow trial. Yes. I'm guessing he didn't. I I'm think guessing did. that too. I don't think the uh, I don't think Utah is writing him any checks. Only only Scientology. Bishop for hire, L.J. Yeah. Gallo or Gillery, Gillery. Um, okay, Eva Bendana finished BFG today. Loved it. All right, you read this. My light just went out. I'm gonna fix it. Okay, can't finish. wait for Claire's book to be written and published. I'm your fan, Mike. You're next after Bareface Messiah. A. A. Ron, your fans demand it. Thank you all for sharing your experiences. Awesome. Thank you, Eva. I'm working on mine now. I'm finally making some progress. Nice. Awesome. 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 Oh, a summer sun. Current Mormon here. I love SPTV. Thanks for the amazing work you all do. Have any of you ever listened to the LDS, LDS leaders directly? Complete opposite of DM. Hmm. I mean, I, I haven't. I can't say that I have. Well, I, I must say that the guy that they had on who was representing the Mormon church in on the 60 Minutes piece was very cool, calm. He got nailed a couple of times. You know, she asked him, well, what, what's what's with all the secrecy? And he says, well, we, co we consider it confidentiality. And she says, what's the difference? And he <laughs> goes... Well, um, um, like it was a great, it was a great question. I've never heard anybody say that. And you're like, that's a yeah. super good point. But, yeah. but he was very, very, um, what, it was interesting that they had someone that was willing to appear on 60 minutes and be interviewed and answer the toughest questions that they could pitch. So Yes, it was quite different than anything Scientology comes up with 
because he was trying to make their case and say, we do all this good work. We spend all this money on this. We spend, we didn't consider it that it's a matter of interpretation, et cetera. And came across as uh, an intelligent, polite, uh, proper sort of person, not like Scientology does. They don't have any spokespeople to talk to anybody about anything. All they can do is send shit letters. That's it. That's the, they're, they are reduced to sending paper threats. Yeah. They, they are the Karens, uh, the Karen of religions. Yes, yeah. that's perfect. <laughs> the, the Who's Karen. the manager? I'm writing a strongly worded letter. <laughs> yeah, and I'm going to make up a bunch of bullshit while I do it. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Um, okay, so this brings up a follow-up question I wanted to touch on as well. Um, su oh, I was going to say sushi full, but that's not even close. Uh, Suisha full. So we should fall. Okay. As to who got Will Smith in Scientology, wasn't DJ Jazzy Jeff in Scientology or did he come in because of Smith? I never heard of, of Jazzy Jeff being in. Yeah, no, I either. think it was but, Doug, Dougie Fresh. Oh, Dougie Fresh. It might have been Dougie Fresh. That's true. Dougie, eh, I think it could have been Dougie Fresh and uh, Dougie Fresh. Dougie Fresh and Tom Cruise could have tag teamed uh, yeah. Will Smith. It could have been a Easy. one two punch. Yeah. Easy, Mark. Um, <laughs> double I teamed. Was... <laughs> did I say? Did I say? Ta ta I said tag teamed. Yeah. Not double teamed. <laughs> well, we'll have to ask the replay crew what they heard. Okay. Um, I thought it was a given that Tom Cruise got Will into Scientology, but Mike, you sounded like you weren't sure. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Yeah. So does it mean so it's not, it didn't? He didn't, but I'm not yeah. sure. I'm as, so as we've already examined, statistically, Tom Cruise's record of getting people into Scientology yeah. is exceptionally poor. <laughs> yeah. So it probably was uh, Dougie Fresh. Yeah. <laughs> or it could have been, right. you know, it could have been Isaac Hayes, too. Right. Maybe. Or Al Frotti. Or Al Frotti. Right. Yeah. Al Freddy <laughs> Johnson. One. Yeah, there we go. Okay, SPTV Tattoo Warrior. Hey, someone in the chat said my tattoo wasn't real, said it wasn't bloody enough. I tried Ooh. to talk to them reasonably, but I ended by saying, I'm telling Goldie. He hasn't bothered me since. <laughs> For the record, we have, uh, I think we're pretty, pretty sure we have pictures of like day one, day three, day five, right? We've all received. Oh, we have video from the tattoo session. Yeah. That's right. We yes. really so do. We, so yeah, it doesn't matter what anyone says. We we've seen the footage. Yeah. So yeah. Absolutely. Okay, uh three minutes until the next giveaway. Denver Stevo says, Mark, does Harvey know that he's getting leaks from Scientology or is TMZ an unwitting accomplice spreading gossip? Mike, blah blah blah. Osa smells like poo stuff. Um, I'm not sure that Harvey could not know no. because the 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 slam dunks they've been on people have been the timing has been really like precise and the coincidence of how they got the footage and all of these things were would it would literally be like if they weren't in on it then it would wouldn't wouldn't be able to happen the way it happened yeah so yep. it's a little weird but uh, bill maher is pretty tough on scientology right yeah yeah and harvey levin is one of his best friends and that, I mean, you can still have best friends that have different, you know, interests and motivations, but um, that would really suck if Harvey was doing Scientology's bidding, which it seems he is, which th yeah. that sucks. Yeah, but, but, on, but, a, but on a brighter guys... note, we, we uh, hit 4,800. Sorry to cut yeah. you off. <laughs> Yay! Oh, yeah. but, but realize these guys, everything is just transactional. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's not that Harvey Levin loves Scientology. He loves the stories that they get. He yeah. loves having that, the inside access. So he'll play the game of spreading whatever bolt that they provide because they're going to come up with something else that's going to get him clicks. I mean, TMZ is the original kings of clickbait. That's the, their entire existence is built on that. Yeah. And it's just like everything else in the, in that world. If you you know, come up with something that's going to get make you a bunch of money because you're getting tips from someone. 
they'll keep doing it and keep working at it and and until it becomes not viable to do it anymore yeah yeah, yeah. makes sense all right well um let's see we it's, have 30 seconds to do yeah. one here yeah. so pat shore says mark and claire you can so tell you two are married just the way you talk and correct uh, each other you claire uh, is claire doing all the correcting <laughs> yeah I'm just not generally. I'm just shutting up now. I'm just not even. I'm like, I'm out. I'm out. Just do whatever you're going to do. Yes, Go ahead. Well, sorry. Yeah, my perspective on this is Mark had to call me Sir and Mr. Headley for like <laughs> eight years. So it's perfectly okay for him to talk over me now. I, That's I, right. I'm not. I'm I'm good with that. It's okay. I did I have to people, call him. People get worked up, but I don't. So that's that's what matters. If we were in an office where there were other Seward members, I had to call her Mr. Headley, like around <laughs> other people. And it was just like someone's like, Go ask and I was like, Oh come on, you don't make me ask and I'd be like Ugh. and I get to walk up to Mr. Headley, uh, can we do it? <laughs> and people are just like <laughs> Amazing. Yep. I was saying Claire does all the correcting. Mark does all the interrupting. Yes. Oh, there you this go. is true. <laughs> yep. Okay, guys. Wow. It, it is. It is uh, the next giveaway time. It's Claire. And mm. you get to pick whether you want a bracelet, a book, a bobblehead, or merch. Yep. And, and, uh, so... and when we say book, it's one of Mark's books. Yes, yep. that's right. Blown for good. Yep. Okay, okay so here we go. You guys know what to do. Murder that live chat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I love it. Bobblehead me. Joe Virus. There we go. Joe Virus. Shoot me an email with your address, Claire at blownforgood.com, and you will get a bobblehead. All right. In those five seconds, we got 1,400 comments. Nice. Wow. We're How almost up to 5,000. How do you so see that? that the way you see it is to switch over to the starred comments instead of the live comments. Yeah. And it will give you accounts of all the comments that have been made since you left that other live chat. Oh. Oh, oh you, you know. sneaky little devil. <laughs> hey, I might have grown up in a cult, but I figured out a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> but you weren't born last weekend. <laughs> I was born in a cult, but not born last weekend. That's right. There you I love go. It. Perfect. That, that's got to go way, on it. has got to go on a shirt. Yeah, <laughs> I was yeah, born exactly. in a cult, but not last weekend. Yeah. By the way, just... <laughs> <laughs> oh that's amazing i love it by the way i did an interview today with andrew gold who i saw earlier was in the chat i don't know if he's still here but it was awesome um, and it'll be coming out in the next week or two it was a great conversation great oh, that's fantastic yep. i love andrew yep. have you guys seen how his channel's been blowing up subscribe yes yeah. absolutely bonkers yes um okay let's see chris Curtin says what is on a church of scientology channel game shows soap operas news documentaries etc or just scientology hate videos and bs i will be in court tomorrow awesome wow, wow. nice um the only thing that's on the scientology <clears throat> channels is the same videos that they show in their organizations it's not there is there some original uh, there's some long form documentary style content, but it's the same stuff that you can see on their website. It's the same stuff you can see in their buildings. It's not yep. they're, they're certainly not doing any live Q&A's. Nope. No, 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 no. it's no. all David Miscavige has entirely removed the human element when yeah. bringing new people into Scientology. You, he envisions that you should be able to put somebody in front of a screen and that will turn them into a Scientologist. Yeah, lots of lens flare and stylized lighting and shafts of light. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, Christy and I try and watch it every now and then because it happens to be number three on our channel thing. Yeah. So, like, there's some, you know, I am a Scientologist videos, and there's some guy who's an electrical, a lighting contractor, and he's, like, talking. The only thing he ever said in the whole thing was, I did a danger formula. L. Ron Hubbard has these conditions and that really, and the, all the rest of it is glamour shots. He's in Vegas and he installs lighting in like high end stores. <laughs> so it's all glamour shots of Caesar's palace and oh, the new, you know, uh, Hermes store in the shops at the gallery at some, and all these stage things of guys in hard hats 
putting up lights and this and that. And you go, what does this have to do with Scientology? Like, yeah, exactly. And they, they do these ones about the ideal orgs, you know, the ideal org in Melbourne, Australia. And the you learn more about Australian rules football than you do about Scientology in Melbourne. Yeah. It's yeah. like no, you you literally there, there's I don't think there's a video on, that I've seen that tells you anything about Scientology. They just want to show that people in Scientology are rich or people are successful or people are happy or, or we have people a lot are of beautiful buildings. or yeah, and even the ideal org thing, it doesn't, you know, I never realized this until this term thing came up. We always, in Scientology, if you're not a Sea Org member, or you're not a staff member, you're called a public. That's what they call Scientologists. They're called public. And when you're in the Sea Org, everything you do is for the public, the public Scientologist. And outside of Scientology, that term doesn't make any sense. It's such a weird thing to call them. So just recently, we've been calling them civilian Scientologists yeah. because that more communicates. They're not a Sea Org member or they're not a staff member. But this ideal org, it also is a weird thing. Like mm -hmm. what? What? There, it doesn't mean anything outside of Scientology. So they, t but they talk it like it does, and it's so. It's so out pointy to use the Scientology term. <laughs> yeah, nobody knows speaking, what out pointy means either. Yeah. Well, speaking <laughs> of terms, when I was talking with Andrew, I was like, "So, yeah, it was really hard as a child growing up in Scientology because you have all this language stuff." And he was like, "Well, what's an example?" And I said, "Oh, like the adults would say to us all the time, don't be banky." Um, and, you know, defining that, it's essentially for the people listening who are like, oh, what the heck did you just say? It's a reference to the reactive mind, reactive bank in Scientology. It's really like telling a child, hey, stop acting out. But in Scientology, it's like, don't be banky. <laughs> nice. Well, that went over well. <laughs> yeah, very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Guess you had to be there. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, oh Rain. <laughs> Rain virus says it's Joe Virus's birthday. Happy Ooh. birthday, baby! Hey, it, happy oh, birthday, Joe, Joe Virus! That's, that's who I picked for the bobblehead, Joe Virus. It's his birthday. Oh, nice. oh, good job, Claire! Hey, yeah, happy birthday! Wow, good I have pick. Epic Epic picking skills. We've been apparently. doing. We did something like that last week as well. Yeah, Claire, I picked, yeah, the, the, I picked the PI. Yeah, the exactly. XPI, I should say. Claire yeah. is really good at the picking. <laughs> Yay! Okay, Fidoville. Less on the jokes. <laughs> Fidoville, I can't wait to buy the new SPTV mouse pads and mugs with the four of you. When will they be available in the merch store? Well, Soon. We'll do a lot. We'll mention yeah. it in a live when everything's ready to go. Go live. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, okay, My Cats Ate Your Socks says, Mike, I just finished your book, my first Audible book. Awesome book. I'm building an SPTV Audible playlist. Nice. Wonderful. Very cool. Love it. And Scarlet Begonia says, if you're not subscribed to Mike Render, please do so. Almost at 25,000. Wow. Yay. He's catching awesome. me now. Yep. So wait, did, didn't you guys pass a milestone this week? We, got, we got over 30K. Yep. Nice. Very cool. Uh, let's see, Mike. Could you please say huge, <laughs> huge? <laughs> oh, Holly Lewis says I did that for you guys. I talked to the Streamyards guys two Sundays yeah, ago on their live. <laughs> nice. Holly, is that true? Well, I bet that she really did bring that up. Yeah, I bet life. she yeah. did too. Wow! And it is an amazing feature. It makes it so much easier to not stress about having missed somebody. That's awesome. Var Rich says, oh, first shit. comment. Yeah. I'm at 24,930. Oh, guys. Oh, come on. We gotta, gotta get over to we Mike's pass channel. Up a milestone on this live. Yes, come on now. 4,800 people here. Whoever hasn't subscribed, jump on over and yeah, subscribe. Yeah, if he got 100, if, if, what, what 48? If 100 out of 4,800 people went and subscribed over on Mike's channel, he'd be, uh, he'd hit 25,000. Come on. There, get up. there you go. 
First comment ever. You guys are all becoming like family to me. Love the SPTV network from Chilliwack, British Columbia. Yes. Nice. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for joining us. Nice. And I'm just checking out the stats real quick on number of likes. If you are one of the 700 people watching on my channel who haven't hit that like button, it's free and easy and it helps. Please hit that like <laughs> button. How about you guys? Do you see any? Uh, anyway, uh, uh, whatever channel you're watching on, hit that like button. Yeah. Oh, um, I already went up 34. There you go. 964. Heck yeah. Nice. That's amazing. So you're almost there. Yep. Oh, this is funny. D bomb is 59 says, OMG, would it be too much to ask for one of you delicious, delicious people to call me when you go live? Jeepers, I still have cookies. Uh. <laughs> I don't get the cookies reference. Me neither. Me neither. Oh, okay. You're just laughing to be polite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like cookies, so I'm laughing, you know, like, yum, yeah, cookies. I'll call for cookies. <laughs> nice. Okay. Debo says, having the time of my life witnessing the inevitable collapse of Scientology because of all of you amazing humans. Claire, you're a freaking rock star, sis. Yay, clap, 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 clap. We love having you here. We appreciate it. You guys all motivate us to keep going. Uh, oh, here's a funny one. 25,001. Boom. Boom. Dang. There you Yay. go, guys. Way to wow, respond. Wow, that was amazing. Yeah. That we was amazing. Like, hey, two we minutes. can count hey. on you. You're hey, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, you can, you can click subscribe on the Blown for Good channel too, folks. <laughs> Holy moly already. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> That's Mike, Mike wins the SP TV subscriber birthday game of the day. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Skadoosh. Mike, your CSW for libs has been approved. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning you can have a day off for anyone uh -huh. who's like, what the heck did she just say? Uh. <laughs> uh, the copper mustache. Was Tom Cruise trying to recruit the new king and the queen? I got to tell you, if Tom Cruise even tried that, it would probably be one of the most a destructively bad PR things he could do for Scientology. <laughs> He'd probably end up in an episode of Locked Up Abroad. Yeah. He won't even <laughs> let a reporter talk to him about Scientology. How, what's he going to do with the, the king and the queen? Yeah, come on now. <laughs> oh, I, this answers a question. Declare Dave loves Suppressive Sherry. Says Suppressive Sherry loves Declare Dave is my better half. Oh, uh, remember I said I, I said yes. they were already in the chat before. I didn't <laughs> yes. realize it was yeah, I get post. it. That's funny. That's Look funny. at their logo. DS, oh, that's DS. amazing. Declare that's Dave amazing. suppressive Sherry. Dave and Sherry. Love they it. even have their own logo. What is going yeah. on? Is hers a reverse <laughs> of the colors? I wonder. They I bet are. it is. They probably inverted the I colors. Upside down. Yeah. 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 That's pretty <laughs> funny. Pretty, pretty good. Uh, Tess Forbes says, an Australian here, and I'm with you. No fan club names, please. That must be for Mike. <laughs> nice. We don't get to pick. The fans pick. It's like a mob mentality. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Tony Lynn Packis says, hey, Aaron, you sound like an attorney to the best of your knowledge. Claire, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> He's been hanging out in that courtroom so much. He has. Yep. I yep. can tell. Love you actually love. are, Aaron. You're saying things I that know. you hear all the, to the, so the, to the best of your knowledge, Claire. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. One, one of I, my I, favorite clients uses the word allegedly all the time. <laughs> and I just love it. She's like, well, allegedly, I'm like, oh, my goodness, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, this is a great suggestion. Uh, Duchess of Chug, I want merch that says Mark's what? <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good imitation. <laughs> <laughs> do I do that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, it looks like that. Do you, you do it. that? <laughs> yeah, or the other one is, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, this one's cracking me up. Jennifer L. Couldn't figure out how to do a super chat on Mark or Mike channel. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> why, why is that Aaron, funny? Aaron, you're taking way too much pleasure out of this yeah. comment. I just wanted a note for the record. <laughs> the only channel I can figure it out on is Aaron's channel. <laughs> when it's done the exact same way on all the it's, channels. It's, it's YouTube. It's 100. Maybe, can you do a super chat if you're not a subscriber? Yeah, of course. Yeah. 
Oh. I think so. I don't know. That I've never actually tested that, but too goddamn hmm. funny. Okay. <laughs> Um, this ought to lead to some jokes. Pamela Crawford, I know what out 2D is, but why is it called that? What a good question. Yeah, that Play is up. a good question. So, Go ahead, expert witness. Second, yeah. second dynamic. So in Scientology, you have eight dynamics. That's your eight urges towards survival across various different things. First is yourself. Second is your urge towards survival, um, the creativity dynamic. So it's as your family, um, including activities with your partner and everything else. So anything that is not um, constructive to that, uh, for example, solo 2D assist would be considered out 2D. Having interactions with somebody other than your partner is out 2D. Out in Scientology means not or against or a violation of the rules kind of thing. That's how I would say it. Open to comments. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Love there it. You go. I like having an expert witness on hand and we can just yep. any of the technical. <laughs> yeah, I, I Mike's done it a few times now and I'm finally I'm like, he's like expert witness. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mike. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, boys, for letting me talk. Appreciate it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Scared of whiz bangs. I feel like I should know what a whiz bang is. What is it's it? just like a thingamajigger or a whatchamacallit. Oh. Watch your mouth. <laughs> okay, hi from Monument, Colorado. Thanks to all of you for educating so many of us on this religion. And Aaron, for the court news, am learning so much. Very cool. Yeah, you've been doing amazing. Yeah, Thank you. I haven't, I haven't job, watched a Aaron. whole lot, and I haven't been keeping up to date. But I've been seeing a lot of comments, and I've seen little clips here and there, and it's very informative and very good. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Yep. Um, okay, William Tubb. I heard Church of Scientology is negotiating for a building in New York City for a new ideal org. It fits their criteria. Big, old, ugly, and empty Trump Tower. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, shit. 50% of the chat just went, what? Oh, shit. And the other 50% no. went, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Oh We're here to talk about Scientology. We'll stay on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, can I? Because I'm reading the chat and I'm like, there's no way they're looking for a new ideal organ. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I buy an SP bracelet? Yes. Go to yes. the spshop.com. Oh my gosh. I have to just read this comment. Jeff Hawkins is in the house. And he just put up this super chat, which I'm sure you were going to get to. But he said, I never heard any Scientologist say out 3D. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's true. That's brilliant. Or out 1D. Yeah. yeah. Or it's out true. 4D. That's 100% true. true. to the second dynamic. Yeah. And yeah. to be fair, Claire, on one of her Where's Shelly interviews, has a blockbuster a uh, secret that is going to come out about <laughs> David Miscavige that no one has ever heard before. Yep. Was it that peanut butter incident with the dog? No. no. It and it wasn't <laughs> no. and it wasn't that shampoo bottle thing in the shower either. It was a total different thing. <laughs> I'm definitely going to clip that one into a short. <laughs> okay. To, oh, my goodness. To answer the actual comment that was made previously, uh, you can get your SP bracelet at the spshop.com, uh, where 100% of the proceeds uh, go to the Aftermath Foundation. So Yes, that's there you right. Go. Super fantastic. Our next and final giveaway is in 12 minutes. And uh Man, these these uh, live streams really go by super fast. They do so much like, fun. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. James Moynihan. The church here in Ireland is a community center. They hold Irish dance contests. Is this a common tactic now to get people in the door? They're actually holding dance contests for non Scientologists in the Irish org building. Oh, Aaron, yeah. you haven't seen these? They're doing Star Wars costume contests. They're doing. They're doing, They're doing the face most. Painting. Yeah. They're doing anything that they can think of to possibly get anybody into the building so that they can be swarmed by the ridges. Yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, it's just like anything. These <laughs> Easter Rocky's, egg hunts. Rocky's game yeah. parking. <laughs> Sir, would you like to use the bathroom? <laughs> come, <laughs> come and watch the NBA playoffs, watch the World Cup. 
what? Like, <laughs> it's just anything. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh oh, <laughs> Jennifer's come back with some new information. When I sent the previous super chat, the bar with the money figures at the top was not there on Mike or Mark's channel, but it's there now. Uh, uh, <laughs> you laughed so hard you didn't see. Oh, did I not read the whole chat? Yeah, I she wanted, wanted yeah. an AA team mug. Oh. Absolutely. In fact, we might have to use uh, the cool little black A team van, slightly changed for copyright reasons, I guess, maybe. Yeah. Um, or who knows? Maybe the van isn't copyrighted. I don't know. But yeah. I absolutely love the AA team. I think that's perfect. Fantastic. And we already have, um, Clara has done some AA team versions. So we'll we'll do a van version. Yep. But yeah, there you go. That'd be so cool. Coming All right. soon, folks. Wendy Fisher says, King Charlie is now officially the Supreme Governor of the Church of England. Might be hard to convert him to the dark side now. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, Ms. Palo, uh, Aaron's Danny Masterson trial coverage is absolutely the best. Will there be more this week in court about the leak or anything else while the jury is deliberating? So we, I'm sure we will hear more about the leak. Um, 100 percent. And uh, guys, if you're in the L.A. area and you want to come to closing statements tomorrow, um, it's going to be a packed house. So if you're planning on being there, I would suggest coming early. Um, yeah. All right, let's see. Um, oh my God, Sarah asked, for the love of Zenu, let Claire talk more, guys. What? <laughs> she's been Thank talking you, the most. Yeah, she said more than anybody here. <laughs> yeah. um, I um, beg to no, differ. Nobody beats Aaron. We'll do, but... we'll do a word count. What? Yeah, it's what? Gonna be, that's going to be disproven <laughs> <What>? very quickly. <laughs> but that's okay. I, I like this new format where you say, Okay, go ahead, Claire. You have the floor. I'll take it. Go, go ahead, ex expert witness. In fact, expert we witness. should just need to create your a name tag uh, uh, on your witness. block that says expert witness. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. That will drive David Miscavige utterly bonkers. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, declare Dave loves suppressive sherry is back. I have this eight hundred plus tome from the nineties. That is a strangely familiar Jesus on a cliff. That's Mark from the Scientology nice. handbook. And then yes. there's this cash register. Who's the oh artist? yes? Is Claire oh, in the book? No, I, no, no, no. He's it's also Mark. I actually I I'm in the Overton right over withhold I'll section. Go, go get it, Claire. We'll, yeah. we'll, I'm in the Overton withhold section, and I take some money out of the cash register, and then I'm like, that bus is such a brick, and uh, <laughs> and then they're like, oh, he took the money. But yeah, oh, I play Jesus as I well. I literally have it right here. Hold on. I was going to do a minute. scan of it because it's pretty awesome. Okay, good. We'll, uh, oh, oh, look Claire's at this. Gonna try. There, there I am. Yeah, that's a pretty good picture of me. Just getting getting a little cash. And I'm like, oh, my yeah, that God. Was. That's Tony Cifarelli. This is a guy I used to work with. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah. It, it's What's it called? Go over, over, up. Uh, uh, integrity. integrity and honesty that's from the scientology handbook where i was also jesus i'm standing on a cliff and i got a big old beard mike do and, you have uh, it in your library behind you the scientology oh, handbook oh yeah oh my goodness i've got different versions it's hard it. to find though oh, let's he's see find well, it. Well, we'll give know. Mike this is the, this is the new one well, it's okay. I oh, that one. Mark I wouldn't have been in the old it, one. Was it, no, no. Was it Scientology they... Handbook or what is Scientology? Uh, no, it's one in Scientology. That's one of the booklets that's... The Jesus one, just I thought, at... was what is Scientology, no? Oh, uh, no, <laughs> well, I think the Jesus one is what is Scientology, I think. Yeah. yeah. Integrity and honesty. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, he's looking in the Scientology Handbook. Yeah. Uh-oh, Mark. Me. Your audio is messing up. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm out. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, so let's keep going those, while Mike looks for that it's one. Those dreaded BTs in the basement. Yeah. Did anyone else hit their SP? Oh yeah. Bingo Here you are out? in full living color, Mark. Oh, oh there you go. Look nice. at that. Nice. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. There I am. Blow offs. <laughs> yeah. See, isn't that that's, fitting? Like blow. That's what for it says. Blow offs. The section on right. blow offs. <laughs> that's why Mark blew. That's yeah. right. I'm in the book. Yep. Here's the old what is Scientology. You might be in. Uh, We're looking for the Jesus one. Oh, yeah. No, I'm definitely in the old one. Oh, no, oh, that's the 1970s one. Oh, but that one God. has the same. That one has the same picture in it, Mike. It's just the old version of it. That <laughs> photo, the that book that Mike has, all of those pictures were taken by L. Ron Hubbard. I know. And they're so yep. horrible. 
Yeah. But guys, where would the Jesus photo be? It's in the new What is Scientology handbook. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Got that one too. Oh, shoot. I Wait, can't believe it, he has What is Scientology every... or Scientology handbook? I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. What is Scientology? Oh, yeah. Okay, I think and it because is too. It was a photo history. shoot of all of the religious leaders yeah. over the ages. And, you know, the point being that Hubbard is the pinnacle of all those. No offense intended to all the other people. This is Scientology's positioning on the subject. Yeah. I. I was standing below the Scientologist and I was Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even Hubbard, right? It was just a random Scientologist. It was Kenny Siebold. Oh my god. Oh no. I think it might have been Uve. I can't remember. There's they oh, photoshopped wow. a new one in. Second. Oh yeah. Right. Air, Air, Mike's, section, yeah. Mike's gonna we'll find see. it. We'll see. <laughs> Did anyone else get their SPTV bingo card out? I'm going for a full blackout. <laughs> nice. Go <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> um oh look carol says it's my experience that you have to be subscribed for at least five minutes to do a super chat oh okay well that would explain why mm -hmm. the person i can't remember if it was he or she but mm -hmm. went back and then it was able to do it that's right truth revealed yeah get your subscription <laughs> button pressed and get the uh, bell notification icon otherwise you're not going to see this amazing picture of me as jesus Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, you may be not seeing it. Anyway. <laughs> I'm going to have to find it now. Yeah, we have a picture of you with the beard. Oh, from, that's from right. Jesus I have shoot. the beard. I still had the yeah. beard. Because they put on a fake beard for the shoot. Yeah. Yeah. And then because I had a giant, it was a really big. Oh, I also had long hair, too. Oh, and yeah. so because I had done the shoot and they it took all the time to do the makeup and everything. I was like, well, as long as you spend all that, it took like two, three hours for them to make me up like this. And I was like, as long as we're done with the shoot and, um, you know, I don't want to sit around in a chair while you undo all this right now. Let me just wear it around. So I was just driving around the property out of a motorcycle, just like Jesus. Yeah, we should we should do a whole episode, honey, on just all your appearances in the Scientology materials, like the Dianetics billboards. Oh, yeah. When life becomes a battleground, your mind is your best weapon. And it featured Mark. <laughs> yeah. All right. So let's see. Lori Plays says, Mike is like an older brother. Mark and Claire are kid bro and sis and aaron is the son i had at puberty nice oh, <gasps> oh is it me oh or... look at that he oh, delivered it, that, oh that's 100 percent. that's me and it is yep. kenny siebel which one is you jesus in the white robes in yeah. the white the third down yeah. from the top yeah second yeah. close up yeah oh yeah that's 100 yeah, percent me yeah yeah, yeah. There you go. We'll get a scan and we'll we'll do a we'll do an episode. I'll tell the whole story about how we yeah. drove up to Big Bear and You were right, Aaron. It's the Scientology handbook, not yeah. what is Scientology. Oh, that's why he couldn't find it in the yep. the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. My bad. Um anyway, yeah. Oh. We went we stopped at a gas station in, in Big Bear and uh and you know Moses and Jesus <laughs> and Zoroaster and all these all these Mo Muhammad and uh, all these dudes got out of these Nissan. What were they? What were the red Nissan? Sentras. Yeah, the Nissan Sentra. Sentras. We all we, all these religiously. I mean, we had robes, everything. It's that picture. All those dudes. We're in two Nissan, red <laughs> Nissan Sentras. We get, we stop at this little gas station and we get out. You should have seen, there was this biker dude that was right at one of the pumps. And he was just like, I swear. I was like, that dude thinks he is so hot right now. <laughs> That's amazing. Goldie oh says God. the chat loves the ginger broad. Yeah, oh, of course. Yay. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Bison5360, just wanted to say hi to the four of you awesome people and to the awesome people in the chat. Yay. Oh, there's Bison5360 that yeah. won the other week that did yeah. not win before, by the way. Yeah, for the 100% did. Did yeah, not. Just knew it. <laughs> she emailed me and I'm like, 
Don't listen to Mark. He has no <laughs> idea what he's talking about. <laughs> okay, our next giveaway is in 60 seconds. Uh, D-bomb, D-Bomb is 59, clarified. Aaron was grumpy the other day, so I said it sounds like he needed a cookie. Love uh, seeing you guys talking about how bad Scientology <laughs> is embarrassing themselves as of late. Yes. Yep. And uh, we're all going to get this reference now. Keep it up, Yins, guys, says <laughs> yeah. Brittany. Hey, Carry, carry. That's a Pitts, Pittsburgh reference, right, guys? Yes, yeah. that's right. Thanks for educating us, is, us culties that were ding, born ding, in cults. Yinzers. Now we're getting smarter in our old age. Woohoo! <laughs> Nana X8 just finished Bareface Messiah. Also read Mike's book, Mark's book, and Leah's book. Can't wait for Claire's. Yes, wow. I just started listening to Bareface Messiah again, um, just because it's been, you know, a hot minute, like sixteen years. And it's fascinating. It really is. Yeah. Nice. Okay, Peggy Cole says, I just subscribed. I have to go. Haven't seen my chat read yet, though. Well, there you go. Oh. Well, but but now I'm wondering if it's another chat that wasn't yeah. read. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Don't overthink it. We can only do as whatever we do in the time we have. Oh, but, oh check oh, this out. It's oh, there it time. is. Giveaway there it time. is. How do I hide this one? Hold on. I Not don't know. Time. Okay, there we go. Yeah. All right, guys. Who's doing? Who's got the honors? I do it. it. No, no. I already did one it last time. It's Mark. Yeah. Oh. Um. Okay. You ready, guys? Get in there and get some of that. Yeah. Um. Let's see here. Flippity flippity flop. Flippity flippity flop. Um. Okay. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and. Oh, come on. I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> I'm trying to get into at least seven. Oh, my gosh. There's so many. Um, here we go. And skadoosh. I hit it. Mm. <laughs> this is what happened to me last week. Oh, my God. I, yeah. I 100%. Uh, you have oh, to do it go? like you mean it. <laughs> <laughs> Put some stank on it. I did. Yep. I, I mean, I've clicked it like four times now. There you go. There we go. Okay, Danny, Danny Crook. I'd love one loving, of your books, cracker, please. Cracker. Sign to Danny, a salt-loving cro cracker crook. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on. Don't take that down. I got to write that down. I don't, it's been preserved in here. Here you go. There's poosh. I got a screenshot. Done. Okay, great. There you go. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, guys. How many nice. did we do on our little uh, chat uh, 2,800 comments. Nice. Wow. That's good. 2,800 is pretty <clears throat> good. Yeah. Okay, guys. Awesome. Good, good, good. Sorry, it's well, slowing down. My, I'm gonna, I'm gonna close these other windows. I am my, my. I think my stream. <laughs> my stream yard is broken too. I yeah, don't think it's I think, <laughs> um, I think we might be pushing stream yard to its. Uh, the limits, its limits here, guys. Yeah, I know. I just have all I can see on my live column right now is a <clears throat> a um, repeating super chat from Dimin diminutive Miss Scabbage that says, "So enjoy your Monday's live," and I can see it like nine times. Wow. Well, I'm looking for it in the um, the starred section. I don't see it at all. That's so strange. Well, at least yeah. I read if it. If you out. see it, if you see it, go ahead and click on it real quick. Okay, yeah, hold on. I went back. So I went back and I went, I went into the star oh, and came is. back and now it's gone. There we go. Minutative there you go. Cabbage. So enjoy your Mondays live. Well, all <laughs> right, everyone. That is the end of our Mondays live. Uh, tune in next week. Same bad time. Same bad channel. Same bad time. Same bad channel. <laughs> we'll talk to you soon. Bye. If you want to see my rock and roll song, subscribe. Click right on this guitar. And if you want to see an, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right in spice here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe right.